Well, I'd like to welcome today DJ Waldo, a long-standing friend that I've met through social media. And uh, DJ has a long history in the digital space and is uh, just launching now a brand new venture. And DJ, I'd like for you to tell the audience what it is that you're doing for clients. Uh, so um, I am now Coach DJ, the career transition coach. And what I'm doing is basically helping my clients move from the job and the career that they really don't like, the one that's making them miserable and that they dread going into, into a new career that they're excited about and they're passionate about and they can't wait to wake up Monday morning to go into work. So you, like me, have seen a lot of people stuck in jobs that are either a dead end or a mismatch and a lot of folks that fall into that category and probably a little bit afraid sometimes to take that step, right? Yeah, exactly. In fact, I was just reading a book the other day that, that showed this interesting stat. This is a worldwide stat from a Gallup poll or something that to talks about the number, the percentage of people who do not feel engaged at work and the numbers would blow your mind. It's like 80, high 80 percent people in the world and the number is a little bit lower in the US by the way but it's still well north of 60 percent of people in the United States are not engaged at work. And you can interpret that in many different ways. I take that as they're not happy with what they're doing. They're not motivated. They're not enjoying what they're doing. And my thought is life is way too short. You spend way too much time at work to not love what you're doing. And let me be clear. I'm not suggesting that you love every single day. I'm not suggesting you love every single moment. You're going to have bad days, bad weeks, bad months. But overall, you should really be enjoying and loving what you're doing. Well, I know you've always put a premium on passion, people being passionate about their work. You're a passionate guy. And throughout all of your journeys in the social media, digital space, a lot of email marketing, you've emphasized that. So how did you move from being this digital guru into the coach DJ role? Uh, so great question. I mean, it, it's, it's, it's a process. And, uh, you know, I, like you said, I've always been somebody who's been very passionate. I've always been somebody who really at the core of who I am, my DNA, I love people. And I've had this blog for since 2005 called, uh, or sorry, since 2009 called The Social Butterfly Guy. And that evolved because in high school, my buddy used to call me The Social Butterfly. I was the person who was at the party and at the event that was always talking to other people. And I really, truly get energy and passion from engaging with other people. And what had happened over my career, you know, I'm 39 years old, I've had lots of jobs and lots that I've really enjoyed, frankly. Um, I, I don't want to portray this as I've been miserable at work for, for <laughs> my working life, but I've had lots of jobs where I've liked and I've enjoyed and I've been passionate about, but as it turns out, the passion was not necessarily for the job. The passion, as it turns out, was for the people that I was working with and the people that I was getting to know and developing relationships with. And so essentially what happened was in somewhere around early 2014, after doing being an email marketing guy for about a decade, I realized I just wasn't passionate anymore about email marketing. In fact, you could maybe make the argument I was never really passionate about email. I was passionate always about people and engaging with other people. And so one day I decided to quit my job. And when I quit my job, my job became to rediscover my passion. And when that happened, when I wrote a blog post about this whole quitting my job, rediscovering my passion, what I found was I got inundated with phone calls and tweets and messages from different people saying, well, I would say 20% of the people said, whoa, I've been there before. I'm now loving what I'm doing. Let's talk. Definitely talk to those people. And then the other 80% of people said, oh, I hate what I'm doing. I'm miserable. I'm not passionate. Can we talk? And I said, sure, but my thought was, am I going to help? I'm trying to rediscover my passion too. What am I going to do to help this group of people? And what I found over time was those conversations were really the most fulfilling and the ones where, as it turns out, I really could offer something and I could help them. I've been through a lot in my life. 39 years does not sound like a long time on this planet, but I've had lots of experiences and I've quit jobs and I've been let go from jobs. I've loved what I've done, I've not loved what I've done, and I have this ability to help people find their passion, get their energy back, and figure out what they love doing in life. 
So it sounds like through your experience, you discovered that an awful lot of people really felt the same way you did about their work, and so this really just naturally evolved into becoming a, a coach for career transitions because you've been there, you've done that, you've started your own business, you've worked for others. So who are the people you're most likely to be serving? Kind of sketch out for us who the clients sure. are that you're going to be seeing. I mean, I mean, you know, part of me would say I, I will take on any client, but the reality is the ideal client for me and the person that I'm, I think I can help the most is not somebody that has had one or two jobs and is fresh out of school. Now, again, if you want to work with me, that would be great, but I'm looking for the person who has had several jobs before, maybe even several careers, has been happy but not thrilled with what they're doing, but is in a better position now to know and this is really important, know what they don't like. So if you've been there before, I mean, I, I got to that point in my career. I knew that I, I could list all the things I didn't like. I could list the things I did like, and I was that much closer to finding the job that I was going to be more passionate about. So I'm looking for that person that, that has been there before but is still sort of floundering and knows that there's something else out there. Um, I'd also add to that I'm looking for people who are ready to work. Uh, and, and, you know, if you're going to find what you're passionate about and do and live your passion, you have to be ready to work. And by that I mean, you know, the, the process I go through, it's intensive. It's homework. It's evaluating who you are. It's thinking about what you want to do next with my help and coaching. But I'm looking for somebody that really is, is excited about that process and excited about going through that with me. And really, I can't stress enough doing the work to get that done. Yeah, you and I have talked a little bit about that process that would take place over a month or two with multiple meetings, with some homework, and it's a very structured approach to moving from a dissatisfying job to a clearer understanding of what would be a satisfying career. And I think there's a huge market need for that. So I've always known you online as uh, on Twitter as at DJ Waldo, and that's Waldo with a W at the end. Thank your you. new uh, your new website for your service is uh, coach dash dj dot com. Coach dash dj. That ever important dash, Steve, is is critical. Yeah, um, forget the dash. Yeah, so coach dash dj dot com is where you can find me. Um, I, I tell people all the time. I mean, I have this blessing and curse of having a first name of DJ and a last name of Waldo uh, because you mash those two together. And I'm the only DJ Waldo on the social web. So uh, it, it, assuming you put the W on the end. If not, you're going to get somebody uh, who is a disc jockey with the last name of Waldo. So uh, I can also be found out on the social web as pretty much any social handle as DJ W-A-L-D-O-W. But again, my main site is coach-dj.com. Well, DJ, thanks for joining us. It's been a pleasure getting caught up, and I'm looking forward to seeing how this uh, venture goes forward. I know there's a lot of people that are going to need your service.